guys and welcome back to my channel today I'm going to show you guys how to get this blue and purple ombre skull look so if you're interested in learning how to do this for Halloween or if you just feel like turning into a skull for the day then you're in the right place just keep watching so first things first I'm going to take my foundation today I was using a CC cream because I didn't feel like I needed that much coverage you can use whatever foundation you like best and I'm just going to put this all over the top half of my face because on the bottom half of course we're going to have the skull mouth and there's no sense in wasting foundation if it's just going to get covered up so next I'm going to go in with a white eyeliner pencil this is the NYX jumbo pencil in the shade milk and I'm just going to begin sketching out the areas that I want my skull mouth to begin so I'm just doing my best to get these sides as even as possible. And then I'm going in and just drawing the jawline, I guess, of the skull mouth. And I'm going to connect those underneath my chin, just so everything connects nicely and is cohesive. It should look a little something like this. Next, I'm going to pick up a black face paint from my handy dandy little face paint palette. And I'm going to fill in that jawline portion of the skull, just to black it out. And then I'm going to pick up the white shade from my handy dandy little face paint palette and I'm going to begin filling in some of the white areas of the skull. I'm going to fill in this little area right next to my ear and this little area next to my nose just on top of where the mouth might start. And then also the chin area of the skull just to kind of block things off and know where the teeth are going to go and just kind of map out the skull so it's a lot easier when we begin drawing the teeth and doing the blending and all that good stuff. Then I'm going to pick up that white shade again from my face paint palette and I'm going to begin sketching out the teeth. I'm just using a little tiny detailer brush or it might even be like a lip brush I'm not entirely sure but something really small and precise to get these teeth looking very neat and I'm just going to draw the little vein of the tooth I guess it would be the nerve and just drawing that up there so it looks a little bit more realistic and then I'm drawing some black lines from the corners of my mouth upwards so I can get the teeth to be in a nice straight line and I'm just going to try to get them as even as I can on both sides using my tiny little detailer lip brush and then I'm just going to use my tiny lip brush once again to mirror the top teeth and try to get them to line up as neatly as possible to give them that realistic look of actual teeth And then I lost the clip, but I basically just drew in between the teeth with some of my black face paint to fill them in a little bit and show the gaps between the teeth. And I also kind of sketched out the mouth portion a little bit more with the black face paint, and I'm just fading that forward. And then taking my Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm going to dip into the black shade in there. And I'm just going to set that black face paint I put in between each tooth to deepen it a little bit and just be sure it doesn't smudge. And then I'm going back over with white face paint to reinforce the whiteness of the teeth so they don't get lost with all the blending we did. And then taking that black shadow once again from the Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm going to set the mouth portion where the face paint was just so it doesn't smudge. And using a blending brush, I'm going to blend that shadow forward a little bit to add some depth to the skull. And then using this new Cream de Couture palette by Sigma, I'm going to pick up this light blue shade and I'm going to begin blending that into the black. Just to start out that ombre look we want for the skull, you can use any colors you want. I just chose to use blue for this particular skull look. I already did it with a pink skull. You could use green, orange, the options are endless. Just have fun with it and play around with some colors. But I just added some blue to the, my chin region of the skull and I'm blending that into the black as well. And I'm starting to blend it on the top of the mouth where all the teeth are and blending that back into the black portion of the mouth as well. This is all about blending and just taking your time with it and being sure everything melts together because the better your blending is, the better your skull will look. And now picking up this dark purple shade, I'm gonna begin blending that to where the black between the teeth is to where that blue shadow is that we just laid down, just to give it a nice blended ombre look. And just to fill in that space a little bit more so the dark black doesn't meet the light light blue on such a stark contrast, it just makes everything blend together a lot nicer. It makes the skull look like it has a lot more depth. 
picking up my white face paint once again, I'm just reinforcing the white on my chin area of the skull because it got a little lost with that blending of the blue shadow. So I'm just going back and then I'm going in with the blue shadow once again just to further blend it. This is all about just adding and piling colors on top until you get the full pigmentation. Now I'm just taking this creamy shade and blending this in between the white and the blue shadow just to kind of melt them together a little bit more because I was having trouble blending them, which is quite alright. Just take your time with the blending. Then I'm picking up some more purple and just making sure that the blue and the purple are blending together nicely. Now picking up my BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette, I'm going to pick up this white shade right here and I'm just going to use it to set the white portions of my skull and further blend the blue into my skull a little bit better. It's always important to set any creams with powders just in case you're out at a party and it creases or something, this will save you from that. Now picking up this white eyeliner by NYX. This eyeliner kind of sucks, but it'll work to my advantage in this look because it will crack and kind of give the teeth a really cool texture to them while also whitening them a little bit to make them stand out a little bit more. So I'm just going over top of all the teeth using this. You totally don't have to do this step, but I just think it's cool to add a little bit of texture to the teeth to make them pop a little bit more. Now picking up that dark purple shade once again, I'm going to blend that over top of the roots of the teeth just to bring that back and add some more pigmentation to the purple parts of the skull. Now picking up that blue shadow once again, I'm going to begin blending this onto the white part of the skull because it's going to add some depth in a minute once we add another part to the skull. And I'm also going to pick up some purple and start dragging that forward from the ear to the front where the mouth portion of the skull is. Now using that NYX liquid liner once again, I'm going to begin drawing these kind of wavy shapes. Not really sure of their technical term. These kind of just frame where the teeth are on the skull. And the fact that we added that blue shadow behind them kind of looks like they're protruding a little bit. Just to kind of give the skull a little bit more dimension and to again frame the, where the teeth are located in the skull. And it should end up looking a little something like this. Now picking up this light purple shade from my NYX Ultimate palette, I'm going to begin blending that over top of where that dark purple shade was that we blended on top of the teeth initially, just to add a little bit more purple to the skull. Now we're going to pick up our black face paint once again and begin drawing the skull nose. I'm basing the black at the tip of the nose and just kind of completely covering it, nostrils and all. And then at the top portion of the skull nose, I'm going to take this teal shade from the face paint palette and begin just sketching that out. And then using the dark purple shade from our shadow palette that we've been using to blend the black and the blue of the nose together and just kind of fuse them together. And now I'm going to begin doing a cut crease. I'm going to take this light blue shade and start blending that into my crease. And then using a purple shade, I'm going to use that to add some depth. You definitely don't have to do a cut crease for your look. You could just do simple eyeliner. I just chose a cut crease today. And now just using my Tarte Shape Tape, I'm using this to actually cut my crease. And then I'm using this purple liquid eyeshadow by Wet n Wild. I can't remember the name of it, but I'll have it listed down below along with everything else. And I'm just going to pop on some lashes to finish off the eyes. Now using the new ABH Gradient Blush Kit, I'm going to use that to contour my forehead a little bit to slim it down a bit. And I'm also going to take it on the edges of the skull mask where it meets my face to make it look like it's actually sitting on my face so there's kind of like a shadow there. And I'm just tracing over the white again that got a little lost from blending. Then I'm just going to mix Blue Ice from the Moonchild Glow Kit and I can't remember the name from the Aurora Glow Kit for my highlights. And then go over this black portion of my skull with the black from the Jeff and Hill palette to finish it off. And that is the final look. I really hope that this tutorial helped to get you in the mood for Halloween and got you inspired. If you did enjoy, please don't forget to like and subscribe because it helps me out so much. If you do attempt to do this look with other colors or something, please don't forget to tag me on my Instagram so I can see. I would absolutely love it. So I think that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys! Shivers, don't